What's up, YouTube? Jeff back again today. Another very exciting Samsung video for you guys today. It is iPhone 15 Pro Max launch day. And of course, as usual, I did go out and purchase the new iPhone 15 Pro Max. And today I have for you five reasons that your Galaxy S23 Ultra still absolutely destroys Apple's latest flagship, which of course has some new upgrades, but still there's tons of things on your Samsung phone that Apple still just can't hold a candle to. So let's get into those five things. And of course, I'll do a more full comparison later on, but uh, I like to make sure that all my Samsung fans out there know that you guys still have the top phone out there and Apple's not really doing anything that's gonna stop that from happening anytime soon. So let's talk about the number one most important thing that I think makes the S23 Ultra destroy the iPhone 15 Pro Max, and that is still the software experience. So. On the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, you are getting One UI 5.1. Right now I'm using One UI 6.0, it's in beta form. And One UI is just so much more customizable than anything Apple's ever offered. And that includes the new iOS 17 on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. So when you get a Samsung device, you know, you can get custom icon packs. Uh, you've got Samsung software suite Good Lock, which allows you to customize just about everything on your phone down to like the keyboard themes, um, you can customize everything, your gestures. And of course, you know, Apple tried to add some customization to the iPhone with the new action button, which they have over here. But we've been able to do that on the Samsung phones forever. You can customize the power button to do a great many number of things. Um, and you can, in fact, change even other ways to uh, make those actions occur, like back taps, double taps, triples taps with registrar, in addition to mapping the power button to do absolutely anything you want. So that's not really a new trick. Um, the software on Android is just so much better. And the number one reason that I love the software on Android is that we have a back gesture on Android. So if you're in an application, and uh, I just restored this, you can see here on my Twitter. If you're in an application and you want to go back on Android, all I've got to do is go in here and do my back gesture. There is no such back gesture on iOS, which is super annoying. It's one of the reasons why when I use an iPhone, I find it to be very, very infuriating. There is no gesture to go back when you're in an application. That's one of the biggest software advantages that you have with Android and Samsung. So that's the first one. The software is a huge deal. The next one is something that the iPhone 15 Pro Max doesn't even offer, and that is the S Pen. Now, you might think if you don't have a phone with an S Pen, if you don't have an S23 Ultra, or you don't have a Fold 5 or something like that, that the S Pen is just a gimmick, but it's really not a gimmick. It's something Apple should really consider adding to their phones. Not only can you create notes, you can also use this to crop part of your screen, like if you want to grab a video or a photo on Instagram and take a screen cap and send it to a friend. You can use it to translate. You can use it to do your math homework for you. Um, you can use it as a magic wand to kind of go through your phone and just browse. There's so many cool S Pen apps. I've made a full video on that earlier this year when the S23 Ultra launched. So if you guys haven't checked that out, I'll drop the link below. You can definitely give it a look. But the S Pen is a feature that until now, Apple just refuses to bring a stylus support to their big phone. Of course, they have the Apple Pencil on the iPad, but basically they want you to go spend more money on an iPad instead of just giving you Apple Pencil support that you could have over here. So if you had it on your iPhone 15 Pro Max, maybe you wouldn't go buy that iPad Pro, and that's what Apple doesn't want. They want you to spend more money in their ecosystem. Samsung gives you the option that if your S23 Ultra does everything for you, then you're good to go and you don't need to upgrade. Now, the next thing is a rather big deal because Apple made a huge deal about this in their keynote. Apple upgraded, let's go in here. Apple upgraded the camera on the iPhone 15 Pro Max to include this new five times optical zoom. You guys can see it right here. I got some fountain pen ink back there in the back, changing some of my fountain pens earlier. And this is a great feature. Having a five times periscope zoom on a flagship device is awesome. However, that would be really, really impressive if it weren't for the fact that on the Galaxy S23 Ultra, we have 10 times periscope zoom right here. And so once again, even though Apple tried to prove their best shot, you've got a better periscope zoom capability on the Samsung flagship device. And of course, both of the cameras are great otherwise, but in this aspect where Apple tried to compete with Samsung and even one-up Samsung to bring the periscope camera to the iPhone 15 Pro Max, they once again failed and the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra is still very, very far ahead. The next one is another feature, just like the S Pen, that the iPhone doesn't even offer, 
and that is Samsung DeX. So Samsung DeX gives you the ability to actually have a full operating system connected using your phone where you can actually have like a desktop operating system. If you have an external monitor and you're traveling, you can connect an HDMI cable from your Galaxy S23 Ultra to an external monitor, even if it's a portable external monitor, and you can use it basically just like a PC. Very impressive. It's basically like running a Windows or Mac OS um, software on your monitor from your phone. And of course, Apple would never offer this again. The reason why they won't offer it is because they want you to go out and buy a MacBook Air as well. So Apple wants you to have an iPad so you can get stylus support, have an iPad Pro, have an iPhone, and then also have a MacBook so you can get the desktop experience. Or if you want to, you could have all of that stuff inside one package with your Galaxy S23 Ultra. So if you're a light user in terms of using the desktop operating system, you could use your phone as your desktop operating system on the go and you don't have to buy three devices, potentially saving yourself thousands of dollars in the process, of course. The next one is one that Apple also refuses. There's just so many features that Apple hasn't incorporated yet, and that is reverse wireless charging. So it is actually called Powered Share. Um, if you go in here, wireless power sharing, I always forget that that's the name. What this allows you to do is if you have your headphones, you have your smartwatch, and you're low on power, you can turn this on and it will let you charge those devices using the back of your phone. You just drop them on top there and get some charge. In fact, one really cool trick is if you have a friend's iPhone and they're with you and they need some charge, you can actually drop the iPhone right on the back of here. You gotta find the sweet spot and it will actually charge your friend's iPhone in the process as well. So that's a really cool thing. If you have a friend who needs some power on the go and they don't have a, their charger, you can drop it right on here. My iPhone actually has full charge right now. So I don't know if it's really gonna start charging, but you can drop it right on the back of your S23 Ultra and you can start the charging process there. And then of course, when you're done, you can just turn that off here. Works really great for accessories. Like I said, smart watches, um, your headphones. I use it all the time on my Galaxy Watch, my Galaxy Buds. Would be great to see Apple incorporate this. Um, but so far, the best they've been able to do this year is bring us the titanium frame and finally give us USB-C. So maybe next year they can work on the S Pen, the 10 times zoom, the desktop mode, and maybe wireless power sharing as well. Anyway, those are my five reasons why the S23 Ultra absolutely destroys the iPhone 15 Pro Max. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe to the notification icon for future videos like this. Again, if you guys are interested in great Samsung content, please subscribe to the channel. We have a lot of really cool stuff, especially if you're gonna order a Galaxy S24 Ultra. We also do mystery boxes for our subscribers every Samsung launch. Check out the link below if you want to learn more about that. Appreciate you guys watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.